Mama. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an urban sketch while reviewing the micron pens. Before we get started, hi, my name is Rasha. And if this is your first time here, please subscribe, I'd love to have you. And if you know me already, then hey, thank you for tuning in. If you'd like to see how I created this sketch and my opinion on the micron pens, please keep watching. These pens have been sent to me, but they are not paying me for my opinion so I can say the truth and exactly what I think. Make sure you are following me on all my social media, especially Instagram, because you can see a sneak peek to all of my videos. Without further ado, let's jump on to the video. You'll need a few things for this project. I wanted to use watercolor, but unfortunately I forgot them in uni, so we are going to improvise. And of course, the star of the show today is the micron pens. So the sketch I'm doing today is a pic from Pinterest. It was taken in Paris, the artist market. And fun fact, I've been there last year and it's amazing and it just holds a place in my heart and that's why I decided to sketch that today, well, a few days ago. The Sakura Pigma Micron Pen is an outstanding drawing tool, available in multiple line widths. I personally use the 01 and 03 in my sketchbooks. They are very pigmented and they glide easily on the paper. Other Micron Pens use a pigmented ink that is chemically stable and is both waterproof and light fast. The pens are not refillable unfortunately and I do find that they finish rather quickly on heavy use. I also really love architectural lettering in them as well and they're also very good for cross hatching. A real concern with these pens is the durability of the nibs because I do find that the nibs bend sometimes. They also don't dissolve in water and alcohol markers which I really appreciate. However, the thicker the line weight of the pen like 08, they do tend to smudge a bit. I honestly use them for so long and I will continue to use them. And as you can see, the pen doesn't transfer to the other page so that is so great if you wanted to write or sketch on both pages and if that's something you are looking for now let's continue sketching so basically after i quickly sketched the image i started inking so this took me around 30 to 40 minutes so it's a quick sketch and i find these pens work well with quick sketches as well as detailed and technical drawings you start with thinner pens and you work your way up to thicker pens to add line weight and depth of feel. You also use the thinnest pens for textures and patterns. And I'm still practicing drawing human figures so don't come at me in the comments. Yeah, I see you typing. I wanted to add swatches of primary watercolors on the image but I was so sad I forgot in mine at uni so I tried markers and pencil colors. But I think I should have just done more pencil colors because it didn't give me the effect I wanted with markers but it still looked great. Oh, and by the way, that little boy, his name is Karam, he's not my son, uh, he's two years old, I'm his auntie, he's my nephew, and we just had a coloring date, so he calls me mama because I feed him and sometimes I put him to sleep. I'm not his mom, I'm just his auntie. That is it for today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, I'm Rasha Shiroru and I'll see you next time.